P. Physical Fitness Development C. Conditioning and Strengthening G. Go to a healthier PCG PCG Workout Challenge We work out as one PCG Good day my fellow Coast Guardians I am Lieutenant Commander Erika Alcaraz the Acting Commander of Coast Guard Special Service Office As PCG adapts to the new normal we find ways to exercise effectively within the four walls. That is why the CGSS will be assessed by no other than our Commandant, Admiral George P. Versailles Jr., to implement an online fitness program in preparation for the conduct of BFT to address obesity, negative physical appearance, and to promote the overall physical fitness of PCG personnel. As we do the first online PCG workout challenge, remember to strive for progress and not perfection. Together, let's see my first jump to the crease. And a pretty simple one, Rizal Benevitua. Join us in performing these series of instructional videos even in the comfort of your own homes and offices. This program is easy but effective. So do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button of the official YouTube channel of the Coast Guard Special Service Office. You may also leave comments down below and tag us on your videos with the hashtag PCG Workout Challenge and hashtag WeWorkOutAsOnePCG. Good, Good day, day Coast Guardians! We will start our PCG Physical Fitness Challenge with a warm-up routine that's perfect to do before executing the main exercises of the day. We've got 5 dynamic exercises in this warm-up with no rest time in between. Let's start with a simple in-place marching. Stand up straight, keeping your back and legs straight. It is important that you breathe normally. March in place swinging your arms, bent 90 degrees for 3 straight minutes. Lift your legs as high as feels comfortable. You can speed it up into jog if you like. In time, your flexibility and endurance will increase. One minute to go.
30 seconds left for our marching warm up. And we are down to the last 10 seconds of our marching warm up. You can do it, Coast Guardians. The next four exercises will be done in 10 repetitions each. Just nice and easy, Coast Guardians. Don't need to go all out just yet. Just go at your own pace. Chin up and down. For chin up and down, relax your shoulders and drop your chin to your chest, then lift your chin upwards. Head turns, left and right, stand up straight and gently look to your left, then look to your right. We're doing some swimmer's arms rotation next. So lift both of your arms to the side, and it should be stretched out wide. Then, draw some big circles. Complete the set in forward motion first, then another set backwards. Now time to do some hip rotation. Stand with feet wider than shoulder width apart, and legs straight but not locked. Make sure your head is up, chest is out, and shoulders are back in place, your hands on hips. Slowly rotate your hips, making big circles. Complete the set in one direction, and then switch to the opposite direction. We are done now to our last exercise for the warm-up routine. Let us do calf stretch. Stand up straight and slightly move one foot up front with only the heel touching the ground. Gently swing your arms downward and feel the stretch all along the calf of your back leg. Then, switch to the other foot and do the same. Great, Great work, work, fellow Coast, Coast Guardians. Guardians! We are now moving to the main exercises of our fitness challenge. There are no rest time in between exercises. We're gonna start with lying alternate hip flexion. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie down on your back and bend your knees 90 degrees one at a time towards your chest. This exercise will mobilize your hip joint and strengthen the hip flexor muscles. Next is wall squat. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width, then we're gonna stand with the back resting against a the wall, then bend the knees to the half squat position. It is important that you should never let your knees go past your toes. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Next up, side-to-side -side lunges. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Start standing with legs slightly wider than shoulder distance apart and toes pointed forward. Shift your body weight to one leg bending the knee until it reaches a 90 degree angle and the other leg is straight. Glutes must be pressing back behind you. Return to center and switch sides.
next exercise is quarter squat. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width and bend your knees to the one-fourth squat position. Make sure you keep the middle of your kneecap in line with the middle toes of your foot. Next exercise is bicycle crunch. This must be done in 10 repetitions. This exercise will increase your core strength and will slim down your waist and improve your stability and flexibility. Remember to engage your core here. Plank and push up on table. Stand 3 feet away facing the table. Place your hands on the edge of the table, just slightly wider than shoulder width. Hold this position for 20 seconds. Then bend your elbows to slowly lower your chest to the edge of the table while inhaling. Keep your body straight and rigid throughout the movement. Push your body away from the table until your elbows are extended. Exhale as you push up. Keep going with slow, steady, Three repetitions. Glute bridge pump. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie face up on the floor with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep arms at your sides with palms down. Lift hips off the ground, squeezing your glutes and core until your knees hips and shoulders form a straight line, then lower back down to start. It is important to execute this delicately and with control. Great work, fellow Coast Guardians! Let us now proceed to Cycle 2. Lying Alternate Hip Flexion This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie down on your back and bend your knees 90 degrees one at a time towards your chest. This exercise will mobilize your hip joint and strengthen the hip flexor muscles. Next is wall squat. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width, then we're gonna stand with the back resting against a wall, then bend the knees to the half squat position. It is important that you should never let your knees go past your toes. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Next up, side-to-side -side lunges. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Start standing with legs slightly wider than shoulder distance apart and toes pointed forward. Shift your body weight to one leg bending the knee until it reaches a 90 degree angle and the other leg is straight. 
glutes must be pressing back behind you. Return to center and switch sides. The next exercise is quarter squat. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width and bend your knees to the one-fourth squat position. Make sure you keep the middle of your kneecap in line with the middle toes of your foot. Next exercise is bicycle crunch. This must be done in 10 repetitions. This exercise will increase your core strength and will slim down your waist and improve your stability and flexibility. Remember to engage your core here. Plank and push up on table. Stand 3 feet away facing the table. Place your hands on the edge of the table, just slightly wider than shoulder width. Hold this position for 20 seconds. Then bend your elbows to slowly lower your chest to the edge of the table while inhaling. Keep your body straight and rigid throughout the movement. Push your body away from the table until your elbows are extended. Exhale as you push up. Keep going with slow, steady, three repetitions. Glute bridge pump. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie face up on the floor with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep arms at your sides with palms down. Lift hips off the ground, squeezing your glutes and core until your knees, hips, and shoulders form a straight line. Then lower back down to start. It is important to execute this delicately and with control. Great work, work, fellow Coast Guardians! Guardians. Down to our last cycle, Coast Guardians! You can do it! Lying alternate hip flexion. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie down on your back and bend your knees 90 degrees one at a time towards your chest. This exercise will mobilize your hip joint and strengthen the hip flexor muscles. Next is wall squat. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width, then we're gonna stand with the back resting against a the wall, then bend the knees to the half squat position. It is important that you should never let your knees go past your toes. Hold this position for 30 seconds.
Next up, side to side lunges. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Start standing with legs slightly wider than shoulder distance apart and toes pointed forward. Shift your body weight to one leg bending the knee until it reaches a 90 degree angle and the other leg is straight. Glutes must be pressing back behind you. Return to center and switch sides. The next exercise is quarter squat. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Open your legs slightly wider than shoulder width and bend your knees to the one-fourth squat position. Make sure you keep the middle of your kneecap in line with the middle toes of your foot. Next exercise is Bicycle Crunch. This must be done in 10 repetitions. This exercise will increase your core strength and will slim down your waist and improve your stability and flexibility. Remember to engage your core here. Plank and push up on table. Stand 3 feet away facing the table. Place your hands on the edge of the table, just slightly wider than shoulder width. Hold this position for 20 seconds. Then bend your elbows to slowly lower your chest to the edge of the table while inhaling. Keep your body straight and rigid throughout the movement. Push your body away from the table until your elbows are extended. Exhale as you push up. Keep going with slow, steady, three repetitions. Glute Bridge Pump. This must be done in 20 repetitions. Lie face up on the floor with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep arms at your sides with palms down. Lift hips off the ground, squeezing your glutes and core until your knees, hips, and shoulders form a straight line. Then lower back down to start. It is important to execute this delicately and with control. Let's wrap up this challenge with our cool down exercises. We're gonna start with long sitting position, toe touch. Inhale, and on an exhale, slowly fold forward as far as you can with a flat back. Keep your toes and knees pointing straight up. Keep in mind to avoid hunching over. Next is flexed one leg to reach left and right. As you reach your foot, keep in mind not to bend your knees. 
Slowly breathe in and breathe out. This will give a nice stretch in the back legs from the glutes to the hamstrings, then to the calves, and is also a good stretch for the side body. Repeat on the other side. Next up is straddle stretch. Remain seated and switch your position as follows. This will make your spine strong and flexible and at the same time, it will give a good stretch to the groin area. Feel the stretch as you breathe in and breathe out. Repeat on the other side. Next up is Butterfly Stretch. Sit down to the floor and bring both feet together. With the help of your arms, drive your knees down into the floor, breathe slowly, hold this position for 10 seconds. Next up is Mad Cat. Kneel on all fours. Drop your head, sink your back down towards the floor, and lift your head up at the same time, sticking your tailbone out to make a curve with your spine. Take a big breath out at the same time. Then tuck your head and tailbone in, arcing through your spine. Take a big breath in at the same time. Our next cool down exercise is side lunge stretch. Stand upright with both feet facing forward, double shoulder width apart. Place your hands on your hips or thighs in order to keep your back straight. Slowly exhale, taking your body weight across to one side. Repeat on the other side. We are down to our last cool down. Feet together ankle reach. Stand with feet completely together, then reach down and touch your ankles. Try not to bend your knees as you reach down. And that's the day one of PCG Physical Fitness Challenge. And you did it! I hope you enjoyed this workout. Rest up and keep going with the rest of the schedule. And see you again at day 2. And that brings us to the end of our day 1. This PCG workout challenge would not be possible without the support of the Commander, Coast Guard Human Resource Management Command, Commodore Juan Manuel D. F. Ramos Jr. And the opportunity given by the President of the Philippine Coast Guard Officers Club, Rear Admiral Ronnie Hill L. Gavan, take part in their endeavor in the stress management program of the Philippine Coast Guard. Again, thank you for your participation and see you on our next video. Thank you for participating and see you in our next video.